Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at how you can download photos from Lightroom CC to your computer as a backup. It's not as easy as it probably should be. So if you determine that you want to download your photos from the Lightroom CC application, you won't be able to do that in bulk without the Adobe Lightroom Downloader app. So you'll go to the Adobe website and I've given you the link below. And once you get there, you need to click to download the downloader. But you will need to make sure that you're using a supported operating system, which is Windows 10, or if you're using a Mac, it's OS X 10.1. 3 or later and so my machines don't all run Windows 10 I've had to find a machine that actually does run Windows 10 to be able to download this and use it call that inconvenient well I do too so let me go ahead and download this so I just paused the video while that was downloading because it took nearly 20 minutes on my machine I have a slow internet but it's a huge file so I'm going to click to show in Explorer and I'm going to double click to open this up. And now I'm going to run the setup. So I'm going to disable the help information. I'm going to click begin. At this point, I'm going to need to sign in. So I'm now logged in and I need to choose a folder on my computer where I can download these files to. So I'm going to just put them in my documents, but I am going to create a new folder for them. And I'll click to start the download. Now I'm going to let this run until it is complete. I've now let the application run and it's successfully downloaded 58 photos. Clicking here to open the download report tells me that there were 57 originals downloaded and one edited version. I can also go direct to the folder into which the photos were downloaded. Now they're going to be downloaded into date specific folders. So we can assume here that the only photos that I have uploaded to Lightroom CC on the Adobe Cloud were all dated 2017 and they're going to be stored on your computer. They're downloaded into folders by the date that they were shot. Now, when you go into those folders, you're going to notice that there are sidecar XMP files for any of the images that you have edited. And typically DNG images in Lightroom on the desktop would have the changes stored in the DNG file. That's the purpose of DNG images. In this case, we have sidecar XMP files. So you'll need to make sure that the XMP files travel alongside the DNG files. Otherwise, you'll be losing your edits as you progress. Progress. So I've now downloaded the photos from Lightroom CC on Adobe Creative Cloud and they're safely on my computer. And what I've done is I've created a brand new Lightroom catalog and I've imported the images into that Lightroom catalog. Now to prove to myself that those sidecar XMP files are actually being applied to the images, because some of these are looking a little bit on the disappointing side. They're not looking as good in Lightroom on my PC as they were on the phone. Just going to select one of these photos and I'm in the develop module. And if I click reset, we'll go back to what it looked like in camera. And so obviously the XMP files are being read. So I'm just going to press control Control C to undo that and just apply those changes to the image. And you can see here that there are changes to the image. There's changes to the sharpening here that was applied in Lightroom CC. I hope that this video has been of help to you in understanding how you can download the photos that you have stored on Lightroom CC in the cloud and do that as a backup. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.